And we have a parcel, we have a parcel, we have a parcel. Very excited for this. Lights, what's wrong with you? He's been asking for a blender for a very very long time and today we finally were able to pick up the shark ninja. So this is going to be like a very not unboxing unboxing video but we are opening the outer portion of it at the moment. Bill which I do not want to destroy. So this I think is like the perfect example for manifestation becoming a reality. You manifest in something and then you wait for it, wait for it, wait for it and then it becomes reality. The blender. So Pavi is like super excited that she has the blender now and then she can make all her juices and make all the fancy stuff that she's wanted to make. She's like so excited about it that she is now sending me to Aldi's. I have to go to Aldi's to buy a lot of stuff. I have a skateboard though. I'm kind of trying to figure out. I'm trying to use the concept where the best way to actually learn something is to just keep doing it over and over again. And yeah, get it there now. So Pavi has been following this like entire family of geese and they were so tiny when she first took and they were like so tiny when she first took a picture of them and now they have all grown quite a bit my god they look so majestic are they coming here unfortunately I don't have anything to feed them but they have all grown so much in my head I'm seeing take me for granted and you know I'm leaving I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving I could take this crap from seeing to believing gotta take so another thing that is happening at Aldi's today is I have been given the task to choose British snacks within a certain amount of budget now what this entire thing is about is you'll have to go to Pavitra's channel to check that out but basically we are searching for British snacks Skateboard goes into the trolley first and now it is shopping time. We definitely need some of these. We needed some lime for lime juice. Apples. All are eating green apples, a sari uh, tang to them. I really like them. This is the entire meat section. I sometimes wish I could take like this entire section back home. Pasta sauces that we really like. Tomato and one pesto. So the last time I tried cooking chicken breast, it was like I right royally like butchered the thing. So this is like one entire section just filled with snacks. This is an entire section filled with biscuits and cookies and wafers. Let me see if I can find something interesting. So we have two selected and let's see how much more we can get. Almost forgot to pick up the carrots and beetroot for the juice that Pavi wants to make. And these are carrots. Don't worry about it. These look better. A pound and forty for like five tiny little beetroots. That's ridiculously expensive. I'm a little confused between the. 
cakes or should I go in for a muffin bar? So after about 30 minutes of shopping over here at the Aldi's, I am finally done. Headed to the cashier to get them all built. Finished my shopping here at Aldi's. Time to head back home. It does look like it might slightly rain. Hopefully it rains after I get back. So the moment I got back home, it was time to leave. I am now headed to Finchley. Uh, we actually found something really, really cool on Facebook Marketplace. Facebook Marketplace is like a mine of really cool stuff that you can find and possibly use as well. So I'm on my way there. Let's go check it out. Let's see if it is in good condition, if it's like worth the buy. So I used to come to the station like all the time, like every single day. And the coolest thing about this station is that when you turn the corner, you will find a bookshelf over there. And I think these are available at quite a few stations. But there's almost always something very interesting to read. Check this book out. Looks like one of those the collector's item books. So they have the same thing in Arnos Grove. And they have some really cool books over here too. Let's check this out. I just found this book that was signed in 24th, 1979. And this letter is from the 20th of June 1979 and it's been with this book from then crazy the churches and abbeys of Ireland so after about an hour and a half of traveling around and being like lost in like somewhere it took me like two other buses to get to this spot i am almost there at the place where i'm gonna go uh, check out these chairs that we are maybe buying the proud owners of five chairs so today is one of those days where the weather is just absolutely amazing what a beautiful run I only ran about 2.2 miles but I felt a lot stronger felt fitter I felt a lot more relaxed. Now, something very crazy happened today in the morning. I woke up pretty late because I was editing late into the night. And uh, for some reason, I just felt very weird and very, like, very awkward. And it was like something that was annoying me. And it took me quite some time to get like a grasp of what the situation was or why I was feeling the way I was feeling. Why exactly I did feel that way was for simple fact that I did not wake up early in the morning and go for a run that was annoying me I have now gotten to a stage where I think uh, running has become very very important or uh, become a physical activity basically has become an important uh, factor in my day-to-day -day life and the moment that that equation changed a little bit I think I felt out of place so that was what was annoying me but now that I have finished my run I do feel a lot better I feel happy and I'm, on that note, I'm going to end this vlog over here. I will see you guys in the next one. Hope you did like it. And yeah, those, those chairs are like pretty awesome.